Hello everyone, today we are on lesson 15 and lesson 15 explores word problems and this is actually the last lesson of this first half of module 5. So we're going to dive right in to problem 1. The length of a flower bed is four times as long as its width. If the width is 3 eighths meter, what is the area? So we're going to start by identifying the question. What is the area? And then we're going to go back and we're going to see what other information it gives us. Oh, so the area is, I'm sorry, let me write our answer statement. The area is blank meters squared. Okay, so here's what we know. We know that the length of the flower bed is four times the width. So I'm just going to draw my rectangle and I know the width is 3 eighths meter. So I'm going to label that. My width is this length here. So this is going to be 3 eighths meter. And I know that my length is four times that. So this is four times 3 eighths meter. Okay. So to figure this out, we know that to find area, area equals length times width. So since we don't have an actual length yet, we have to figure out the length first. Okay, so 4 times 3 eighths. This is going to be our length. So we know that 4 times 3 is 12. 12 eighths. Now 12 eighths can actually be simplified. Even before we do any other work with that 12 eighths, I'm looking for a number that divides evenly into both 12 and 8. I know that that number is not 8, so I'm going to go use some multiples of 2. So what about 6? Six? 6 divides into 12, but not 8. 4? Four. 4 divides into 12 three times, four divides into two, I mean four divides into eight, two times. So we know that the length is three halves meter. Okay, or we could look at that as, what is that, one and one half? One and one half meter. Okay, so you have a couple different ways that you could solve using either our three halves meter or a one and a half. If I'm doing length times width, then I could do area equals length, three halves meter times width, three eighths meter. And that's going to give us an area of nine sixteenths meter squared, right? Okay, now if you wanted to go ahead and use the one and a half, that's when we have to do our dis distributive property. So we would need to take this one times three eighths plus One times three eighths. Oh, plus, gosh, sorry guys, I'm writing the wrong thing. Plus one half times three eighths. And let's see what we get here. We get three eighths plus three sixteenths. Is that right? Three eighths plus three sixteenths. Yep, and then we need to make some like units. We're gonna have to go to sixteenths. So eight times two gives us sixteenths. So this becomes six sixteenths plus three sixteenths. And then what do you know? We add those together. We're back to nine sixteenths meters squared. Okay, so we got the same answer two different ways. Personally, I think it was much easier to multiply my fraction greater than one 
times my width, right? So 9 sixteenths meter squared becomes our answer for question one. Okay, so we're going to move into question two. Um, Mrs. Johnson grows herbs in square plots. Her basil plot measures five eighths yard on each side. Find the total area of the basil plot. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. Here's our basil plot. We know that it is five eighths yard times five eighths yard. Okay, so we can do that. The total area then we're going to do five eighths yard times five eighths yard. And that's going to give us 25 60 fourths yard squared. Okay, very straightforward. Um, the total area of the basil plot is 25 60 fourths yard squared. Okay, so there's a part B to this question, so we're going to go ahead and look at part B. Mrs. Johnson puts a fence around the basil yard. If the fence is two feet from the edge of the garden on each side, what is the perimeter of, of the fence in feet? So let's see, here's our question. What is the perimeter of the fence in feet? Write our statement, the perimeter. Oops, the perimeter is, we'll just leave it like this for a minute. And we know it's gonna be in feet. Okay, well, here we go. We know our answer is gonna be in feet, but we know that our dimensions are in yards, right? That's what our yards was. So I'm gonna draw a little picture because there's a bunch going on. We know that she has her basil garden. Okay, so I want to represent her garden. And I learn in this question that she's putting up a fence and that foot, that fence is two feet from each edge, right? So here's my fence plus two plus two. Plus two, plus two, plus two. So this is kind of, her fence is going to be two feet away on every side, okay, from her garden. Okay, so we're trying to figure out perimeter. Now, if you remember, perimeter is going to be two times the length plus two times the width. So we typically add up. So this side plus this side plus this side plus this side. That's going to give us the perimeter. So we have to start with some measurement conversion first because we know that each side of our garden is measured is 5 eighths yard. Okay, so this is what we were starting with, 5 eighths yard. But we need to convert this into feet because that's what our perimeter measurement is. So we know that 5 eighths yard is going to equal 5 eighths times 1 yard. And now this is where we start to convert 5 eighths times 1 yard is equal to how many feet? Okay, we need to have, remember that. So 1 yard is equal to 3 feet. So if we're still solving this, we're going to see that this is 15 eighths which is going to be equal to, eight goes into 15 one time, eight times one is eight, 15 minus eight is seven. One and seven eighths feet. Okay, so we know that Mrs. Johnson's garden is one and seven eighths feet length, width. Okay, we're not done. So here's what we know. We know that this fence that she's putting up 
is going to extend this one and seven eighths an additional two feet. I should do it, let me circle this one, two feet. And we know that it's gonna take this width, the one and seven eighth, and it's gonna extend two feet. So each side is essentially going to be extended four feet, okay? So I hope you're still with me. So we're gonna take this one and seven eighths and we're gonna add four feet to it. So I'm gonna do that over here. So one and seven eighths plus four feet because we're trying to find the perimeter of the fence, not the garden, the perimeter of the fence. So the fence we know is one and seven eighths plus two, one and seven eighths plus two. So that's where we get this four from. So we're gonna add one and seven eighths plus four feet and that's going to give us five and seven eighths. So when we're thinking about this, this is going to be the length of each side, okay? So five and seven eighths, five and seven eighths, this is now the side length of the fence, five and seven eighths, and then five and seven eighths. Okay, so we could do a couple things. We could take this five and seven eighths, and since we're finding perimeter, we could do five and seven eighths plus five and seven eighths plus five and seven eighths plus five and seven eighths. That's one way to find perimeter. Another way is we have four side lengths that are all the same, which means we could take our side length of five and seven eighths feet, and we could multiply that by four because there's four sides. And I think I would rather do this. So I know that I'm gonna need to multiply my whole numbers together. So I'm gonna end up doing five times four plus seven eighths times four. That's gonna help me find my perimeter. Five times four is 20 plus four times seven is 28 eighths, okay? Now, I can't leave this as 20 and 28 eighths. So I need to take my 28 eighths and I need to turn that into a mixed number. So eight goes into 28, three times, four times? Eight times three is 24, okay, three times. We know that 28 minus 24 is four. I'm gonna add my 20. So remember, this is my perimeter. Perimeter equals 23 and 4 eighths feet, which is the same as 23 and 1 half feet. Okay, so this had a lot of steps to follow. We were looking for what is the perimeter of the fence in feet. We figured out the side length for the fence was five and seven eighths feet. There's four sides, so we did some multiplication and we found out in the end that the perimeter is 23 and a half feet. Okay, so word problems, they are tricky. You have to read them more than once. You have to look at all the information being given, okay? So keep practicing. Keep trying those word problems. The more we do, the better we get. If you have any questions, send me a message. Thanks.